right now we're going to be talking about how to uh, kill the end of a panel. We're going to start by trimming away the stainless steel mesh on the back so that we don't have uh, end up glazing our tile saw blade. Next, we're gonna loosen the plunger on the tile saw. Score the back deep enough so that it'll break the rest of the way through, but not so deep that you see the cut mark through the other side. Each, each piece is not uniformly the same thickness, so it takes a little bit of finesse. You kinda gotta look at your piece before you cut. Score it on the back, clean on the front. The next thing I like to do is use a block to set the edge of the stone. You want your keep piece on the block and your throwaway piece off the block. Next we're going to show how to do a short return with an estate corner and or a double back um, with an outside to an inside. So to start, um, you can't really cut this on my wet saw because it sticks up too far and gets right in the way of the motor and all the mechanisms. So we're going to go back to our die grinder with our cutting wheel on there first. Uh, we're going to start by uh, cutting through the stainless steel mesh just like we do on a regular cut. Next we're going to go with our diamond wheel, masonry cutter. Same, same process as before, we're going to go partially, partially through without going all the way. joint. Um, if you got a piece that sticks out a little bit more, you're just going to want to grab a hammer and a chisel. Uh, you can try to score it. Um, just kind of try to finesse it. So we've got this one little piece here. Um, I'm going to just try to chisel it, cut it from the back side, and then chisel it off. 